Welcome to the course Big Data Analytics. In this lecture, we will discuss about what are the various data types available in MongoDB. Earlier lectures, we discussed about how to create database and how to drop database, then how to create collection and how to drop collection. Here, we will see what are the various data types. The following table shows some of the frequently used data types available in MongoDB. The first one is string. So what is purpose of string? This is the most commonly used data type to store the data. String in MongoDB must be in the UTF-8 format. Here UTF means Unicode Transformation Format. Here 8 means 8 bit. So which is a UTF-8 valid. The next data type is integer. This is the type used to store a numerical value. Here integer can be 32 bit or 64 bit depending upon our server. Our next data type is Boolean. This is the type used to store a Boolean value that is either true or false. The next data type is double. This type is used to store floating point values. The next data type is min and max keys. This is the type used to compare a value against the lowest and highest B BSON, that is binary JavaScript object notation element. Here, min stands for minimum, that is the lowest value, then max stands for highest value in the form of binary JavaScript object notation. Next data type is arrays. This type is used to store arrays or list or multiple values into one key. The next type is timestamp. By default, C timestamp, which stands for current timestamp. This can be handy for recording when a document has been modified or added. The next type is object type. This data type is used for embedded documents. Then the next type of data type is null. This type is used to store a null value. Then the next data type is symbol. This data type is used identically to a string. However, it's generally reserved for languages that use a specific symbol type. The next data type is date. This date data type is used to store the current date or current time in Unix time format. We can specify our own date time by creating object of date and passing day, month, year into it. The next data type is object ID. This data type is used to store the document's ID. The next data type is binary data. This data type is used to store binary data. The next data type is code. This data type is used to store JavaScript code into the document. Finally, regular expression is the next data type. This data type is used to store regular expression. These are all the, some of the data types available in MongoDB. Let us go back and check once again. The first data type is called as string data type. The second one is called as integer data type. The third one is called as a Boolean data type. The fourth one is called as double data type. The next one is minimum maximum keys. The next one is RS data type. The next one is time stamp data type. The next one is object data type. The next one is null data type. Then the next data type is symbol. Then the next data type is date. The next one is object ID. The next one is binary data. The next one is code. The finally, regular expression. These are the some of the data types used in MongoDB. In upcoming lectures, we will discuss about how to insert document into collection, then how to query, then how to update, then how to delete, then how to perform aggregate functions, then how to use indexes. So all these uh, comments uh, will demonstrate in upcoming lectures. So all of you stay tuned for all these upcoming lectures without missing.